Ten percent off. G'day, alrighty, this one is gonna be some floating shelves, uh, two sets of three. To save a heap of time, I've basically just cut out all the nails, because I only need these short pieces. Also, uh, don't mind me on the old shameless plug, this is not a sponsored video, um, but I am an ambassador for Safe Style Eyewear. I've got some links down below, you get 10% off, I get a kickback, that all helps me uh, fund all sorts of little bits and pieces in the shop at the moment. Any dollar I make is going towards the fund a new lathe for me. Fund. Cool? So, thanks very much for all the people that have bought a pair of Safe Style and clicked my link. Much appreciated. Okay, all that timber's cleaned up very nicely, but now I've got to glue several of these pieces together to form the shelf. There'll be a back piece. Let me just, let me just put that on the bench. There'll be a back piece, side pieces, and that's pretty much it. So I'll glue all these together, cut everything to size, and then I can pretty much assemble it with pocket holes and glue. I'm just gluing the back edge on first. Uh, it'll just make for the pocket hole glue up. They're a little bit fiddly for these end pieces, so I'll get that one on, then I can do the rest pretty simply. Okay, tool maker shout out is Anthony from Bando's Woodshop. Now he actually sent me this mallet, which was very generous. Uh, it is a beautiful mallet, and just like clamps, you can never have enough mallets lying around the shop. So. If you want to support him, go and check out his Instagram handle and let him know if you'd like to be in the next batch of these weapons. So, thanks very much, mate. I love it. In hindsight, I probably didn't need the pocket holes on the underside. This glue joint along here was probably more than enough. Plus, it's strengthened with the pocket hole on the back, plus the glue joint on the side. So, um, it's not the end of the world because for where these shelves are going, but it just wasn't necessary. Waste the screws, and you can see the bogged up pocket holes. But, you know, she'll be. She'll be. So they say hindsight's a beautiful thing. Well, I don't think so, because that is not beautiful.
at all. Exciting, hey? Alrighty, so the toolmaker shout out for this one is Anthony from Vando's Woodshop. Let me check. That's the right handle.